Income Tax 2021-2022, Change in Accounting Method. Get ready to get refunds to the max, diving into Income Tax 2021-2022. Most of this information can be found in Publication 334, Tax Guide for Small Business Tax Year 2021, looking at the Income Tax Formula Line 1, which would be supported by another schedule, basically an income statement, income and expenses, the expenses basically being deduction, the net then flowing in to line one of the income tax formula, as well as page one of the form 1040, the tax return. We have the schedule C, which would flow in then to the schedule one, the schedule one flowing in then to the first page of the 1040 line number eight. This is the schedule C, the profit and loss for a business, basically an income statement. We're looking now at a change in accounting method. So in prior presentations, we talked about a cash method, an accrual method, a combination method. Now we're thinking about what if I need to change the method? What if I marked off the wrong thing? What if I changed my process of accounting in the future? Am I locked into whatever method I put on that first tax return? Because we saw that that was important. It's important to pick out the proper method when you make your first tax return, because if there's a problem with it, can you just change it? willy to the nilly willy nilly no you can't you've got it you've got to get permission you, you might be able to get permission but just realize that so you want to get it right on the first one and then if you need to get permission then then you got it then you got to ask for it to change it so changing an accounting method once you have set up your accounting method you must generally get irs approval before you can change the accounting method uh change to another accounting method a change in accounting method includes a change in one your overall methods such as from cash to an accrual method and two your treatment of a material item in it so to get approval you must file form 3115 application for change in accounting method uh, you can get irs approval to change an accounting method under either the automatic change procedures or the advanced consent request procedure you may have to pay a user fee for more information, see the instructions for Form 3115. So if you pay them enough money and, you know, ask nicely enough, no, <laughs> yeah, there might be a fee to it. You've got the schedule that you got to basically have here. Note that under certain circumstances, you would think they would be more likely to accept the change. So, for example, if you're moving from a cash method to an accrual method, possibly because you have inventory or something like that, you would think the IRS would approve with that kind of change because typically that lines up with the thought process of, you know, people with inventory and, and that change. If you're moving from an accrual method and you have inventory to a cash method or something like that, that might be a little bit more difficult of an argument to make as to the rationale from an IRS perspective. So automatic uh, change procedure. Certain taxpayers can pressure, can presume to have IRS approval to change their method of accounting. So you could just, pres I presumed, I presume that I have the IRS approval. So those, these would be methods that would be more kind of like automatic type of things where the IRS, you would think they would give the approval so that you can have the approval assumed. The approval is granted for the tax year for which the tax payer requested a change, year of change, if the taxpayer complies with the provisions of the automatic change procedure. A no user fee is required for an application filed under an automatic uh, change procedure generally covered in Revenue Procedure 2015-13. So you can look that up on the IRS website, 2015-15 IRB 419, which is available at, you got the IRS website here if you want to check that out. You could possibly just go to the IRS website and, and type it in there too, but you got this uh, extension you can take a look at. Generally, you must use Form 3115 to request an automatic change. For more information, you can see instructions for Form 3115. So if you're going through this process, good luck, God bless, hope it goes well. Take a look at the instructions at Form 3115, and uh, they can find that on the IRS website, hopefully guiding you to success.